Benny Big Gun here. I'm coming at you all today with a review on the K-Bar Warthog. I've been carrying this knife for a really long time. And I think it's time to do a review on it. Take a real quick look around the box. See if you can see that properly. It is made in China, as it says that. So yeah, let's go and take a look at the knife. I did do an unboxing a while back of this knife. So I have used that, of course, carry that. Uh, got some K-Bar literature here. Let's see, I think it's some kind of maintenance manual or something. Upside down, something like that. Limited lifetime warranty. It's, a, it's basically it's the warranty and all that kind of good stuff. We'll get that out of the way. In the box. That's it. So let's take a look at the knife. Let's take a real quick look around the knife, real quick. So we have G10 scales. Uh, G10 handles and they've got like these little grooves here they help a lot with comfort with grip see it's also it's textured G10 don't know how well it's gonna come up on camera to be quite honest there we go see it's textured we got little uh, bit, little bit of jumping here So this is a complete metal here, so it's a basically like a half and half design. It's all those three screws holding the pocket clip in place. Pocket clip retention, it's about medium. I do like this grey finishing, I don't know how well it's going to come up. This grey finishing is rather nice. Try and get this ton up properly. Of course it is half serrate as you can see there. We do have some markings on the blade. See if I can get that clear up. There we go. Thirty seventy three China. I believe that is the blade steel. I'm not sure. It says K bar right there. There's a liner lock design. There we go, we've got jumping here. It's a foam stud design, so we've got dual foam studs. And they do have some texturing on them. So we do have it does have texturing, so let's see if I can get to turn up. There we go. Right here, but there's a bit of texturing. It uh, makes it easier to open. Um, we got, of course, some jumping up here. In the hand, it. Um, Quite comfy. Of course, we got. I didn't mention as far as this whole notch here. You can put your finger here. You can get really in deep with the cutting. I like that. 
get uh, you know getting deep. You can do some fine cuts and uh, reverse grip feels quite good. Let's get to some uh, specs right here. Some um, some some sizes which I have written out right here in centimeters and inches. So we got uh, the the main blade, which is the you know the plain edge right here. Which is going to be four centimeters, 1.57 inches. We've got the serrated blade right here, serrated edge, which is going to be two and a half centimeters, 0 0.98 inches. We've got the uh, blade length complete, is going to be eight centimeters, 3.14 inches. Overall length is going to be 19 centimeters, which is going to be seven point. Four eight inches. That's correct. And then it's going. We're going to have the close length. That's going to be eleven centimeters, four point three three inches. So that's it for the sizes you want. Uh, set blade centering. I think it's heading a little bit to the right. Just a little. It's just a little to the right. Of course, we've also got some more jumping here. It's jumping all the way around. It's lots and lots of jumping on this knife. It really creates a uh, really good comfort feel on the hand. So yeah, the what am I missing here? The uh, magnet retention. You know, the retention that it doesn't uh, fly open when it's closed. It's pretty good. Which means basically I can shake this as much as I want. It's not gonna fall off, fall out at all. It's got a pretty good magnet. You need a little bit of force, quite a considerably bit to to flick it out. It does. You can flick it open, but it's not that smooth. No, I do not believe you're going to be able to see the washers in here. They don't look like they are. Uh, bronze washers at all, or copper washers. I think they are alloy, aluminum, or something like that. They don't look like uh, the bronze. And anyway, it's moving along to the blade itself. It does have a pretty, it does you know keep a pretty good edge, but uh, it has been resharpened just before the review. And uh, yeah, it does hold a pretty good edge. I'm gonna get some paper right now. If you have something like a Spyderco Sharp Make or something like that, you'll get the edge back to back to uh, just like out of the box in no time. It did come pretty sharp. So yeah, you can do that. It's pretty good. Now, I have not sharpened the serrated part at all. The serrated part is extremely sharp. And as a matter of fact, I don't really have anything to test it with right now, during the review. But you can uh, cut wires with this and uh, things like that. As long as they are, uh, you know, uh, it's not a hard wire. You can cut uh, things like that with it. It's perfect. Slicing cardboard boxes, you can do that with this too. It's still razor sharp, just like out the box, the uh, serrated edge. Now, one big complaint I have with this blade, with this knife, is going to be when it's in the pocket, sometimes... You bring it into your pocket, it just will snag on your trousers, and it'll and it'll pop open like that, and you risk cutting yourself big time on the tip, especially when you're just like sliding into your pocket and it pops open. I have accidentally nearly cut myself. All right, so something to keep in mind. This is this is the only thing that, as far as I'm concerned, that brings this knife down considerably. Apart from that. It's a good knife, and I would definitely recommend it and, uh, to anybody who's looking for a knife like this. So yeah, that's going to be the review, you all. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think to this knife. Uh, my my rating for this knife is going to be five and a half. Very simply, it would have been higher. It's very simple because of this big problem with the security uh the safety of when it goes in your pocket and it can pop open getting snagged on the pocket clip it's 
going to be there's going to be five. And the the retention of pocket, I didn't actually get, but it's pretty good. It's not the best in the world. It's pretty good. So that's gonna I'm gonna leave it like that, you all. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please like, favorite, subscribe, and don't forget to most of all, have a great day.